More than a thousand kilometers south of Algiers lies the huge Krechbar gas field. It's a life-size environmental laboratory where scientists are seeking to show that it's possible to stop carbon dioxide. Experts in global warming and visitors such as the French environment minister are increasingly attracted to the site. Billions of cubic meters of natural gas are pumped from beneath the sand. But the carbon dioxide content of the gas is too great for it to be sold in its natural state. So, rather than release it into the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide is separated and transported several kilometers to a site where it's buried. Steel pipes carry the carbon dioxide into an underground aquifer. The burial site itself is under a 900 meter cover of clay and that clay is in general gasproof and waterproof. Kretschmer buries a million tons of CO2 a year, equivalent to the exhaust fumes of 200,000 cars. But there's still a lot of progress to be made in the technology. It's the paradox of these new technologies that you can use them now, but you won't see them being employed on a very large scale or systematically for some years when the cost will have fallen substantially. And that's the problem. It's not too hard to dispose of CO2 in the middle of the desert, but if it's being produced by big factories in urban areas, burying it poses much greater challenges, and they have yet to be solved.